Star Wars Rogue Squadron has been removed from Disney's production calendar. What does it mean? It means, once again, Lucasfilm is incompetent and cannot keep a project going. All right, everybody, welcome back to Echo Base Network, where we do Star Wars all the time here. So thank you very much. Hit that subscribe button and join us here at EBN. So Nick, Rogue Squadron, we get the news today that this movie has been removed from Disney's mm -hmm. production calendar. Now, for people who keep a close eye on Hollywood, on Disney, it's not really a surprise that this happened. The movie was scheduled to come out December twenty second, twenty twenty three, and they're not they're, they're not even in production yet. Yeah. So this didn't really shock anybody. And what's the last Star Wars movie that we've gotten? Oh yeah, Episode Nine, whatever that was called. <coughs> it it looks to me like Disney is putting all their eggs in the streaming service basket, and they really are getting away from Star Wars movies at this time. Yeah. <sighs> How disappointing is that going to be if the last Star Wars movie we get in theaters is that disastrous episode <laughs> nine, Rise of Skywalker? Oh, what an end to the Star Wars theater experience. Uh, I hope that's not true. Uh, I hope they get their crap together over there and actually put out something that the fans are going to get behind and really love. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of with you. It seems like they're kind of putting all their eggs in this, uh, in the streaming service thing with the, with the TV shows. So one thing that we know is like, they've already pushed this movie back once. And mm -hmm. then uh, when it got pushed back before it was actually officially pushed back, everybody was saying this movie was canceled. Everybody on yeah. YouTube and on the, on social media, the movie got canceled. It got canceled. And then we hear from Kathy Kennedy and then we hear from Patty Jenkins and Jenkins is like, Oh, I'm working on wonder woman three. Everything's good. We're good with the project is a go. Well, what about now? And, and Nick, the thing is, it's like, this is what Lucasfilm does when they want yeah. to cancel something. They don't just come out and say, not doing this movie, not going to happen. I mean, we didn't get that news with Rangers, the new Republic, a, a streaming service show or anything. They never do that. It's just eventually Ron Ron it just Johnson's goes away. Trilogy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's never going to happen. So no. I just, all of these promises, all of these plans, all of this stuff that they say, and it seems like 30 to 40% of whatever comes out of Kathy Kennedy's mouth doesn't actually end up happening. And I'm going to tell you what. Yeah. Maybe they're saving us from a great deal of pain here. I hate to say that. Yeah. But maybe I don't even want to see a Rogue One movie. Or, I, I'm sorry, uh, a Rogue Squadron movie. Um, Because maybe it would be awful anyways. Like, yeah, that's... It, yeah, and the thing is, the artwork for the title had the uh, sequel trilogy uh, models of the X-Wings. So... We never really got any for sure confirmation on it, what time frame this was going to take place. Yeah. Uh, if it was going to be during the sequel trilogy era or if it was going to be during the OT era, which is what I wanted to see. Um, so, yeah, maybe they are kind of saving us. Uh, the, the Lando show, that was another one, you know. Not uh, happening. Not happening, you know. So we're getting saved there from that. But it seems like they're pushing forward. With the acolyte, oh, they are with, yeah. and and nobody is wanting that. The idea is good, but the people involved, nobody wants to, yeah, you know, have anything to do with it because of the people involved with that project. You know, in the in the comments that they've said about it, and the writing people, uh, staff that's behind it, and all that. So, yeah, I, I just, I don't know what's going on over there at Lucasfilm. It just seems to be an up and down roller coaster all the time uh no structure uh it's it just seems to be a mess well i'll tell you uh it just it's kind of devastating as a star wars fan how they just keep dangling stuff out in front of you and then they take it away yeah but again we are not in a very healthy position with star wars right now 
And if you if you think back about four or five months ago, maybe maybe not even quite that long ago, Kathy Kennedy basically said, in 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 a manner of speaking, oh, we're going beyond uh, episode nine. We're continuing those stories. We're going to get more of that. We will move forward in the stories. And that kind of made me think, well, yeah, they are because this Rogue Squadron's coming out. And, yeah. and it's going to be in that era, I suppose. And now, they, you know, Kathy Kennedy's saying all that. And now this movie, arguably, isn't even going to happen. Like, if I was a betting man, I would say we're never going to get this Rogue Squadron movie. It will never happen. Now, is there a chance that yeah. they're going to go, hey, Let's make this a streaming show. We'll save money. It'll be a lot easier. That could happen. Put it during the OT time. Yeah. <laughs> well, that won't happen. Guarantee you that yeah. that won't happen. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us. Let us know in the comments what you think about this news. Did it bother you? A lot of you have moved on from Star Wars. We can tell in the amount of views on our Star Wars videos. So I understand. <laughs> but, you know, we will continue to report all things Star Wars all the time. So as always, we are your Echo Base Network. We'll see you on the next one. See you guys. <laughs>